Well, well, well. It's me. And I'm gonna have a buzz. But first I wanna talk about something crazy that I don't think I've told many people before at all because ever since this pandemic hit, I was working in the uh, hospital. I was in Western medicine. I, you know, was a hamster on that fucking wheel for Daddy Soros and Daddy's Gates the whole time. Um, but actually a few years ago, I went back to school and I became a board certified holistic health practitioner and I got my PhD in natural medicine. I just have to pay them a lot of money if I want the piece of paper, but whatever. Sorry, my nose is dry. But so I actually uh, did a lot of studying. I've learned a lot of Eastern medicine. I've learned a lot of quantum physics um, concepts as far as health is concerned. So basically, what it comes down to is westernized medicine is not designed to actually help you. It is designed to keep you sick and mask the problem so the root of it is still festering and you will continuously have this issue. Um, I almost sneezed. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so Eastern medicine would be like Taoist medicine, like um, Ayurvedic medicine, um, whole brain fart you know, everything literally else besides pharmaceutical westernized medicine. And the United States is one of the only countries in the whole wide world that practices this fuckery. It's kind of weird. Um, I learned a lot of really incredible things about the human body that I had never known. I didn't know we were capable of such crazy, awesome things. I didn't know that the human body was capable of repairing itself, you know? And we're never really taught that Bottling up emotions actually causes physical ailments, believe it or not. It's, you know, obviously diet is huge, but that's just where I found Ayurvedic medicine to be really helpful and really just like made the most sense to me because, you know, not everybody's the same. I'm not gonna eat the same amount of calories and the same amount of, you know, proteins or whatever as, you know, the person sitting next to me. We all have different types generally speaking. So the um, Ayurvedic medicine is the ancient Indian medicine. They still practice this today. Some of the best shit out there. I'm telling you guys, there's a website if you're interested. It's called Banyan, B-A-N-Y-A-N, botanicals, one word, dot com. You can go on for free and take the dosha quiz. All you have to do is give, like, put your email in there and fill out this quiz. You make like a little um, profile for yourself, if you will, but you don't have to buy anything. You don't have to pay for anything if you don't want to but it tells you like your main dosha type. So there's, pro, um, I'm having a hard time tonight. <laughs> Pita, Kapha, and Vata. And so one of the three will, you know, be more predominant in you as opposed to somebody else. And you know, when it's off balance, like how you'll, you know, react or have symptoms of certain things because of, it's crazy, but it's, it's awesome too because this website specifically what every month you can go in and like update your quiz and you know like I haven't been sleeping that well lately or I've actually been feeling like a lethargic piece of shit it'll be like oh your cough is off and it's in excess so here's how to counterbalance it to get you back here why the fuck don't we ever think of that as westernized medicine people why are we always like oh just take some Zoloft and shut the fuck up like yeah no that's not health care I'm sorry. A lot of people that work in healthcare think they're fucking heroes and save lives. We're not. We're actually not. We're keeping consumers coming back. And I witnessed it firsthand because I've been working in the cardiac cath lab. You know, granted, we did save lives doing heart attacks, but that wasn't like all the time. We had to have a full time job. We had to have people on the conveyor belt. So, you know, we would put stents in people, and what do you know? They have to be on medication every single day for a year. They've got to come back and get their shit checked. They've... <sighs> it's disgusting. It's really disgusting. The way we westernize a lot of stuff, our food, our health care, like, just our values, our morals. We've become so disconnected, seriously, as Americans. We have had it so good, and we've also been, you know, 
bamboozled and duped for a very long time, but there's just so much truth out there and there's so much to learn about ourselves and each other. It's just, it's fucking incredible. And you know, I'm a huge advocate for microdosing mushrooms for PTSD, stuff like that. Ayahuasca for anybody ever, always. <laughs> um, Cause I believe that the earth gives us everything we'll ever need. Not fucking Daddy Gates. Daddy Gates is a creep and he doesn't have your best interest in mind. So what the fuck a computer programmer's got? I don't know what he's doing playing with vaccines in different countries, getting banned around the world from different countries, killing people. But I can guarantee you that's not like what God wanted and that we didn't come here to do that. We didn't, you know, that's bad karma really. I mean, if you're intentionally doing that shit, you're axing for it. What else can we talk about? Mm. Mm -mm. I make notes because there's so much. There's literally, this is one page of just stuff. I'm, I'm like, oh yeah, I can talk about that. Oh, I can talk about that. Holy cow. It, a lot of it's really deep though, and it's, lo it's a lot to uh, just explain. You know, I have to kind of make it make sense because it took a while to make sense to me, but so basically the difference between Eastern and Westernized medicine is, you know, Easternized medicine understands that we hold the power within us. We shouldn't be giving our power away ever to anybody in any sense of the word, but when it comes to our health, that's, that's our responsibility, you know? And so Westernized medicine is based off of Newtonian physics concepts and principles. So Newtonian physics was, yeah, they, I think of the, oh, what was it? Tesla versus the other douchebag that like stole all his stuff and like hid away all Tesla's information. Tesla was a quantum dude. Like, and everybody looks at him like he's got all the answers. Well, he just understands the quantum atom. So, you know an atom, right? You've got like the nucleus and it's got like the things on the outside floating around. It's been a really long time, so don't judge me. I'm not that retarded, but um, anyways. So an atom in Newtonian physics, they say that there's 99.9999999 to the nice, pretty much empty space inside of an atom. Whereas a quantum person or somebody who has more 5D consciousness, you know what I'm saying? They're not stuck in like the, this. Um, they understand that that's not empty space. That's where all the magic happens, baby. <laughs> so that's where we gotta get the understanding that the human self has five different layers. Okay, we've got our super mental, like our connection to God. We've got our um, mental, physical, emotional, blah, 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 blah. Everything's connected through meridians, like energy meridians. It's where you get acupuncturists. acupuncturists. They help simulate energy flow to that area. Um, they understand the interconnectedness between everything. Um, so... Yeah, everything is energy. That's I know it's probably cliche sounding and I don't really give a fuck either way, but I keep going to drink my wine and I don't. <laughs> I'm trying to stay focused and it's fucking hard. But anyways, I think that's wine. That's bad wine. <laughs> uh, what was I talking about? Yeah, energy. Everything's everything is energy. So that's where we I was saying earlier your emotions, depending on how strong they are and how good you are at fucking stuffing them down, but eventually you will have a physical ailment from them. And they're all connected actually through energy meridians. So um, people that end up with specific types of cancers or even if it's hereditary, that is actually epigenetics. Um, it's not like necessarily genetics. It could just be like it's been in the family line for so long you know usually people that like went through a lot of trauma in other generations they hold on to a lot and pass it down which is really sad but um god i hope i'm not too all over the place because in my head it makes sense but 
Um, I love it. I wish there was more of a market for it here. I just like, <sighs> we just have to drain our swamp first, I guess. <laughs> um, yeah, the emotion code, Dr. Bradley Nelson, he's a chiropractor and he came up with it and it's fucking amazing. You can use the muscle testing. You can do the body sway test. Um, what was the other one? Body sway, muscle testing. I don't know. It's basically kind of like a, a lie detector test. It picks up the subtle energy around you, but that's where your subconscious energy is. So it's like, that's, I swear to God, here's a good one. Try this. So if you're at home right now watching this, stand up. I'm not going to stand up because I'm just not, but. Stand up and hold your arms at your sides, okay? And just stand still and don't overthink and be retarded, but I shouldn't say that word. Okay. Um, tell yourself, be like, show me yes. Show me what yes looks like or just say yes, like something positive, positive energy. Your body will pull forward. Like you will feel here, like here. You will be pulled forward. It's the fucking craziest thing. And then say like no or like negative or even just think something negative that not negative like emotional negative really more so just like yes no hello goodbye type thing yin and yang um and you will be pulled backwards i promise you it's fucking nuts so what i do i always ask myself <laughs> my higher self or my subconscious i'm like fuck where did i leave my keys at i'm like okay are they in the kitchen? It's like, yes. And I'm like, I fucking knew they would be. Every time, every time. It's the craziest thing. I don't even care how I look because I fucking feel like I cheat through life. Like, I get I get away with stuff no one knows about. We all have this ability. It's stupid. Um, another way you can do this, okay? You can use a pendulum, which I know some people are weird about. So, I don't want to upset anybody or get anybody too weird, but... Just, you know, to trigger the right person. I yes. That was perfect. I have this pendulum that I made. So, I'll show you real quick. Um, you gotta hold it. I'll pull it out. You can use this for Reiki also. I'm just gonna shake and act stupid. So then you say, show me yet. usually my yes. I don't know if you can see it, but it goes, my yes swings that way. You can also use the um, muscle test. So if you are telling the truth or saying something positive or something that has like a yes meaning behind it or an affirmation, um, you won't be able to, you know, the bond's tighter. Whereas if it's no, you'll be able to pull your finger out more. I don't trust myself sometimes with that one, so I don't fuck with it, but I'm saying this again. For me, no, when it's, it'll go this way. <laughs> if it's trying to say no. So, I don't know if you can see this. It is, show me no. It's a little rusty. I haven't touched that. I haven't used the pendulum in so long. <sighs> I should start doing it so I can freak people out. Um, what else is there? Yeah, this way. Yeah, whatever. Those are good enough. Um, try it. It's fun. But anyways, there's this thing called the emotion code. You can Google search emotion code chart. And you basically use the those things I just showed you. Um, you can use anyone that you're more comfortable with, but you ask you ask yes and no questions to get down to the answer of which emotion. There's different boxes, A and B. Like there's there's tutorials on it. I'm not gonna explain it because this is already getting to be long. But um, you get down to like what emotion you need to release or like face and let go of or whatever. It is fucked up, let me tell you, because you can go back generations and find shit that's dug into your subconscious. It's creepy. Then you use a magnet over the governing meridian of the body, so it goes over the crown from here. Um, you do that when you think or feel this motion. 
I, I don't even care how nuts this sounds. Like, I've been in healthcare and westernized medicine for a, a decade. Let's just say a decade. I've, I've helped more people in like three years doing crazy shit like this. Looks weird. Anyways, I've done, I've just helped so many more people doing stuff like this. Like when I had to do my practicum cases and stuff. Just the life fucking altering, the, like, just the most simple things. Like, we just overcomplicate so much shit as humans. Like, we just don't understand how easy everything really is. We always have to just overcomplicate everything. No, like, we're always a victim, you know, to the end. It's, it's just, humans have been through so much suffering and trauma, you know, through all the generations that it's, we just have to let go of it now. Like, it's, it's no way to live. Grown ass women out there being babies and stuff, not cool. But anyways, yeah, I could go on and on. I have a bunch of really cool modalities and techniques and things that I've come across that I just have, like I said, watched people use. It's like giving somebody a, a map to their own treasure chest inside of them, and then that treasure chest they find it and they like like I don't know turn their island into an amusement park or something it's fucking awesome though like there's ugh. that's it that's all there is to it people like healing addictions <clears throat> I'm like don't know why I'm fucking dying right now people healing like emotional traumas throughout generations people reversing diseases autoimmune diseases allergies I've seen this shit firsthand it's crazy I just, um, yeah, I'm just gonna have to be the change and make it normal because, you know, Daddy Gates doesn't want me to. So that means I'm gonna have to. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for this video, I think, because I don't wanna, you know, make people drink from a fire hose, but if anybody's ever, like, for real, wanting to talk, you know, or, like, needs some kind of, information that I might have. I don't want to put myself on a pedestal by any means, but like if I can guide somebody in the right direction, um, I would love to. I would absolutely love to. I, I do this all the time for people. It's such a gift and it's a gift that keeps on giving because the stuff I teach people, you know, they're out teaching it to other people and that's just how the world works, man. But anyways, I'm gonna end this shit. I'm going to get on to another shit and I'm going to talk some more shit about some other shit. <laughs>